family and friends of the Seaview Tabernacle. Welcome to this another Bible study from your host, Pastor Horace Sports. Today we continue the theme, The Christian Life. Today's topic is the dedication of the body for service. For service. Turn with me now in your Bibles to Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Pastor Fox, read for us, please. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, as we read that verse, you know, the song comes to me, my stubborn will. At last I've yielded. I will be thine, yea, thine alone. At times we want to go our own way when the Lord is directing us in the other direction. And today as we go into Bible study and as we seek to dedicate ourselves and our bodies to the service of God, we just pray that you will understand the word and the teaching will take roots within your hearts. Let's pray. Father, we just want to thank you for today. We thank you, Lord, for your many mercies. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Lord, I thank you. For this ministry, I thank you for calling us and for empowering us to do your will. And so as we go into Bible study, we pray, Lord, that you will guide pastor, guide his thoughts. And as the word Bible said, renew and his mind, Lord, as we renew our minds as we listen to your word. And all that we'll apply your word to our hearts. Bless us now, Lord, and for all those who have asked us to pray, we are praying. And Lord, we just pray for those who are sick and suffering, and those who have asked us, like my friend's nephew, who's there sick, Lord Arlington. We just pray for him again, Lord, and pray that you'll continue to touch him and touch his mind. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll just ask you to like, share, and subscribe now as I turn over to Pastor Forbes. Pastor Forbes, over to you. Thank you very much, Sister Forbes, as we continue in the book of uh, Romans. And tonight we'll be dealing with the dedication of the body for service. As Paul reminds us that you should present your bodies a living sacrifice. And that body must be holy and it must be acceptable to God, which is a reasonable service. Uh, service. So Paul continues his main theme that salvation is by faith. And this is what we have been discussing from we begun, and therefore he encourages believers to the life of practical, practical fruit. We are supposed to bring practical fruit, and that we should be that should be cultivated in the redeemed and sanctified life. Fruit is expected from us and therefore this is the special motivation to all the believers to surrender 
to God's service. Now that you are saved, God is expecting us to surrender ourselves to him so that he can use us to be used of God is my desire. desire. And therefore he talks about the subject of salvation. Chapter 5 and verse 1. Therefore being justified by faith, mm -hmm. we have peace with God. And salvation is the surrendering of the heart to God. Your heart must be surrendered to God. It is of no value unless it is received in character and our conduct. And salvation is necessary for the human soul. The second thought that we look at is at the subject of sanctification. Sanctification. Paul said there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. And sanctification is a surrendering of the will to God. Not my will, but thy will be done. And this was what Jesus prayed in, the, in his prayer. When he was there with his disciples, he said, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done in my life. And the third thing that we look on is the subject of service. And uh, this is third. Therefore, it is one of service. Therefore, I beseech you, I beg of you to surrender your life to the Lord. And service is surrendering your bodies for service. Because your body is what you use to speak. As I spe said uh, last week. And a Christian living relates to what is inside and expresses on the outside. What inside must come out. And the outward condition is the dedication of the body. Dedicating your life for service. Because the inward condition is the renewal of the mind. Your mind must be renewed day by day so that you can be used of God. And the dedication of the body is the outward condition of the Christian life. And I'm dealing particularly with the Christian. And Paul said, present your bodies. Because your body belongs to the Lord. You were bought with a price. And your body is the instrument of the Holy Spirit. He lives within you. The Spirit of God lives within your body. And uh, something must be done instantly with your body and completely with your body. It is an act, action. And believers must set himself upon the word of God. And self, brethren, is to be sacrificed. And body must be presented to God the Father on the altar of sacrifice. Being laid upon the altar for, for service. And therefore it is the presentation of the body. It is a perfect act called for action. And therefore the sacrifice is living and involving our life. 
to God that you must be involved in it. And one man uh, makes it uh, very, very clear. It is not propitiatory, but dedicatory for Christ. Because Christ is our satisfaction for our sin. And this is what God demands. And secondly, he said, it is not sin bearing, but burnt offering. Christ took our sins and he died for them. So God is not expecting you and I to die for our sins. Because he has already died for us. But he is asking us now to present our body to him. So that we can be used of God. The sacrifice of all were dead. Sacrifice. But our sacrifice must be living. It must be alive. And Paul is now dealing with the practical application of the believer and brethren i am saying that it is very very important is a call paul is teaching us to present our body to him so that we can be used of god firstly look at the practical appeal practical appeal. Paul makes a special appeal. Paracolio, a call in view of the wonderful doctrine of salvation. Something that happened to us already. Now he's saying that you and I must present ourselves in total completely and instantly to him by the mercies of God God's tender compassion and believers are now encouraged to bring themselves to God bring yourself to the Lord instead of sacrifice to the altar as of old he does not need those he needs you so that you and i can be used of god and brethren that should be your desire as i said those sacrifices were not well pleasing to god like cain in genesis 4 and verse 5 but unto cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth and angry. And his continent fell. And verse 6. And the Lord said unto Cain. Why art thou wroth? And why is thy continent fallen? Because God was not pleased. With the sacrifice. That he offered to him. And therefore he was wrought. So the sacrifice of our body, brain, our hands, our eyes, feet and tongue must be well pleasing to the Lord. Mm. Particularly your tongue that is used to speak the word of God. And James said that that tongue can be a flame of fire yes. and it can be used for good so what is the function of the body in the Christian life salvation sanctification and service are related if you are saved and then you are sanctified mm -hmm. then sister Forbes 
there must be service. service. And having entered by faith, there must be special development, practical service. Inward speaks to the outward expression. What you have in the inside, mm -hmm. the grace of God, the Spirit of God must be expressed and the outside and these two verses are the fundamental condition of the christian living notice the two words he said be not conformed to this world and this speaks of, of a negative side don't allow yourself to, to become fashion plate don't be conformed virgin to this world. So the devil and the present world system is evil and under satanic rule. He has organized the world system and religious system that are hostile towards God and his people. And you and I should remember and you know that we are strangers and pilgrimage. This world is not our home. But he said be transformed with a positive side. And I want to look at the, the possessive application uh, action. And the word possessive is a forward movement service of involvement service of action and paul talks about the renewing of your mind yes paul said also let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus so the word transform by the renewing of your mind. And there's a word I want us to look at is in metaphorical soul. Is a supernatural change. Metaphorical is a natural change. And this is the renewing of the mind. The caterpillar knows nothing of the real life. Until it turned into a butterfly, realizing that the world is beauty and pretty. And therefore, brethren, you and I should experience that transforming change in our hearts so that we can be used of God. And this is the renewing. Of your mind in Titus chapter 3 and verse 5, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of your mind. So your mind must be renewed continuously, constantly, and this is what Paul. Is trying to say in 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 16, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And Colossians 3 and verse 10, that a new man is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him, following the mind of Christ. So that it can be used of God in God's service as you present yourself to him. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body. Hallelujah to Jesus. And the last thing I want us to look at before we look at that is the dedication of the body is an act. But the transformation of the mind is a process, a continuous experience 
and it is God's work and you when you yield yourself completely to him God is able to use you Amen. as my wife always say my stubborn will must be broken before you can be used of God and the last my last thought is is the pur purposeful ambition that we may prove what is the will of God the good and well pleasing and perfect will of God because salvation is the only foundation of true Christianity and therefore there has to be a purposeful action working out in our lives you and I will become active in the service of the Lord and therefore I call upon us my brothers and sisters as we look to the book of Romans so many things that we have looked on and now Paul is appealing to all of us to make a presentation not for money or land but of our, of, of our bodies to him so that we can be used of God or oh, to be used of God to win someone out there to be involved in the work of the Lord Father we ask your blessing and your word and ask Lord, Lord that we'll present our bodies to you so that we can be used of God whatever era whatever situation whether in the church wherever use us use us Lord we make ourselves available to you use us for your own purpose we come to pray for those who are sick that young man that we prayed for last week all in time we pray for him now remember also our brother from St. Elizabeth their son we don't know what is happening to him but we want to pray for him at this time we want to pray for others who might be going through our time our sisters or, 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 or those that are becoming careless. Oh, that Lord will pray for them at this time. That your spirit will minister to them and tell them that I want you to work in my vineyard. Bless us together. Thank you for my wife, Sister Forbes, who has been here with me, laboring and getting the message out. We want to pray for her too. Because sometimes Lord, she's not well. But she is determined. Hallelujah. To be used of God. And I pray that you continue to use her. And to use us. For your glory. To this end we give you thanks. In Jesus name. Mm -hmm.